morning what's up guys so welcome back to my channel and if you are new to photography and if you are get tired of shooting in auto mode and this video is for you before any start i give uh, introductions first if you uh, have any cameras or any, any device you have for your phones just turn it to manual mode and make sure your exposure set to auto white balance for this episode in future i will make specific video for white balance itself so make sure subscribe to my channel and follow in my IG I will update here and there soon so today we're gonna do talk about three main things first ISO second shutter speed and a picture before I start anything I would like to give a analogy to these three things shutter speed ISO and a picture it's like a three point seesaw which you need to balance each other to get a perfect image every factor affecting each other so I would like to start with ISO so the definitions for ISO is the international standardizations of organizations in other words it's a sensitive of your camera sensor to light which means when you have a low ISO your sensor is less sensitive to the light you create a more darker image like this as you can see a normal camera will be a 100, 200, 400, 800, 1000 when it's come to a high ISO 6400 Ten thousands, you create a brighter image. You use it in low light, like these situations, uh, indoor situations, or during night time. Don't have any light source. It's just crank up your ISO. And in terms of when you're using a low ISO, a low ISO so basically you use it at outdoor situations or during the day times. Most of the time, your exposure will be blown down, so you need to use as minimal ISO as possible to compensate it. The outcome, I would say, when you're using low ISO, you get a crisp darker image I would say when you crank out your ISO to thousands you'll get a brighter image granny like this most people would like to avoid to compensate this thing make sure your aperture is fully open to the biggest and you can use a lower ISO and you also can use a slower shutter speed I would like to start with the experiment F2 constant variable you keep your shutter speed and aperture constant and you manipulate your ISO and I use a low ISO like 100 you create a more darker image but a more crisp or cleaner image so when I crank up my ISO the image will become brighter gradually and you tend to introduce some grand to your image also that you need to watch out here are some comparisons of the image taken with a manipulated ISO but keeping your aperture and shutter speed fixed as you can see, when I'm using a low ISO, your image should be dark but more crisp or cleaner. But when I crank up my ISO, you get a brighter image, but your image will be grainy like this. And most of the time, we say ISO is unusable, but it's not wrong when it comes to artistic this kind of thing and just depends on what kind of story you want to tell. So, shutter speed is like this thing. The definitions for shutter speeds is basically in a lantern. It's like a chopper or window or door allow light to come into your sensor. How fast is close? When you have a very fast shutter speed, the number will be like a level in terms of denominator 1 over 8000, 1 over 4000, 1 over 1000. You need to time sweep 1 second or 1 over 1000 shutter speed, and which means in terms of 1 second, is this long cut into 1000 pieces the shutter of your camera will be 1000 fast in one second and when you have a, a slow shutter speed one second two second or even 30 second for a sensor to expose to light and this thing create a brighter brighter image yet you tend to introduce some blur to your image you want to create a light trail a light painting image like this and like this and like this like when you use a high shutter speed is you want to take a very actions image or motions or even you want to take a photo for events that, that everything is happening so fast or even wedding at least 100 and above and to make sure your image is very sharp and static when you have a higher shutter speed letting your camera less exposed chop is very fast say lesser light to come to the sensor 
so you will get a darker image. So to compensate it for like situations when using high shutter speed is to open up your texture so you're letting more light coming in to the sensor. Crank up your ISO a bit to compensate the low light situations to get a perfect exposure of image. So here are some experiments and the constant variable is the affection ISO. The manipulated variable is shutter speed. When you're using a high shutter speed, darker image. So when I turn down to a slow shutter speed, you're letting more light enter your camera and produce a brighter image, but you introduce some blur to your image. Here is the comparisons of using different shutter speed, holding a fixed ISO and fixed aperture. Third point of Seesaw is aperture, one of the most interesting yet complex factor that affecting your image. Your aperture is a straw and your light is your beverage or drinks. As you can imagine, when you have a very small aperture or very small diameter of straw, you tend to suck up less liquid or less light. When you have a bigger, bigger aperture like this, and you have a bigger straw like this when you drink a bubble tea you are able to drink more liquid so you allow more liquid to be drinks allowing more light exposed to a camera so a picture is different from previous factor like shutter speed or ISO I would say a big picture you means that you have a bigger channel for your light to expose your sensor you create brighter image makes sense right when it comes to very high number of aperture like 8, f16 and f22. The aperture is inversely, it's like the number is getting bigger like f22. The diameter of the aperture is very small so we are allowing lesser light to coming into your sensor. The outcome is you get a darker image but everything will be in focus. When you have a low number of aperture means that you have a bigger aperture. You're letting more light coming into your camera or sensor to get a brighter image. When you're using a very low number of aperture is when you want to take a portrait like this, like this, and like this. When you want to use a high number of aperture is when you want to take a photo of landscape. You want everything is in focus. Take a group photo that every person is in, in focus. You want to make sure your number of aperture is very big. And here is some experiment with a low number of aperture and also you're creating a more interesting things like this that I'm when I'm focusing on the group, the subject, and you can see the background is blurred. And this thing we call it at bokeh. And when you listen to people they say want to create a, a battery bokehlicious shot of photo and you are separate your subject, the group, to the background. So you will create a more three dimensions look of your subject. When I slowly increase the number of aperture, your image will become darker. Everything will be comes in focus. To compensate the darker of your image, increase ISO and a slower shutter speed. And here are some comparison of using different aperture. Basically, this three thing I mentioned before is a three point seesaw, three factor that interlap each other. Once you master this three, and basically you can create any friends or story you want to tell. You only need to keep on practice and practice. When you enter a new environment or situations, you know what setting, what the picture, what ISO, what shutter speed best or suitable for the situations. Get a more appropriate. Uh, exposures of your image. So here are some recap of what you have learned today. So first thing, in terms of shutter speed, when you get a higher shutter speed, you nail the shot very fast. Vice versa, when you get a very low shutter speed, you let more light exposed to your sensor, will get a uh, brighter and your image will tend to be blurred. Second, you learn about ISO. When you have a higher ISO, you produce brighter yet granular image you need to watch out. When you're using low ISO, you are letting your sensor less sensitive to like a darker yet crispier image. Third thing you learn about a picture have a low aperture means your aperture is very big. You're letting more light coming in to the sensor. You'll get a more brighter and more bokeh when you have a higher 
actual specs is very smooth you're letting lesser light get into your sensor and this thing create darker yet everything in focus image and if you find out this video is very useful please share it to your friends and family feel free to like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out any content like this in near future and comment down below that the things you want to learn in near future and thanks to watch the video today and and i will see you very soon rise and make it happen